What is up everybody, it's your boy Duty back again with another video and this time we're taking a look at our boy DSP's late night uh, daily rap video where he talked about his wonderful day of streaming and as we all know DSP decided to take a trip on the time machine and go way back and whip out the GTA 5 game. That's right, he decided he wanted to do some retro gaming because he's too cheap of course to buy any new games and he wanted to see if he could milk the dents for some tip money. And sadly, it didn't happen. I think he, he didn't even get to the tier one tip goal uh, with, with the GTA 5 playthrough. But the funny thing is, is whenever we get retro fill back, you know what's going to come. You know what follows retro fill. That's right. Retro hateful slurs. And Phil decided he wanted to be extra cute last night and whip one of them out. But let's hear what Phil had to say on the Daily Rap podcast. First stream today uh, was Final Fantasy 16, and I thought we were starting with story. Wrong. We had a whole, no exaggeration, about another hour and a half, boring padding. It wasn't very interesting at all. Um, this time around, we were looking for a pickpocket who stole your merchant's pass. You know, something that could have easily be explained in a one-minute cutscene instead of an hour and a half of boring gameplay that pads the game. Hell, he's black! Oh. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. That's right, folks. That's right. Phil is black because he is the pot calling the kettle black. He doesn't realize the irony that he's complaining about uh, a game spending, you know, an hour and a half on a cutscene, right? Uh, and he calls it filler and boring and something that could be simply explained in a one, you know, one minute, you know, conversation, right? And he, what he doesn't realize is that he actually does this every single day on his podcast. He spends an hour and a half essentially just regurgitating his schedule, uh, shouting out tips. And then once in a blue moon, he may have a news story. So that's right. So Final Fantasy is the equivalent of Phil's level one podcast so once we got through the boredom the game picked up big time there was giant plot developments um essentially you know at the end of the stream after about 90 more minutes of story which is like a big exploration of a city and a, a big a lot of combat and then one big epic fight between the icons um basically a whole big plot line ended which is crazy because i thought that that would have been a plot line that went all the way to the end of the game but here we are we're all 29 hours in and uh yeah one of the whole like uh royal family slash you know uh countries that seemed like they were going to be vying for power in the game has uh, been eliminated basically so good progress there although admittedly today i do feel the game jumped the shark a bit and if you don't know what i mean i would urge you to watch the last video of today's gameplay of final fantasy 16 the big icon fight you'll see what i mean when it happens i was like i can't believe they actually just did that that is so ridiculous but anyway good progress in final fantasy today Tonight's late stream was something special because as you know, I've been talking about this now for a couple of months. This summer, we're celebrating my 15 year anniversary as a content creator on YouTube. In fact, it is September of this year that it is actually my 15th anniversary of doing consistent gameplay videos uh, here on, on, uh, on the channel. Well, on this channel since 2010. And of course, I actually did it since 2008 over on Dark Side Phil. Um, the reason that we're doing it a little early, well, there's too many new games coming up in September for me to celebrate it then. So we're actually starting now. And since we finished up all of the other playthroughs, you guys voted to see me start with Grand Theft Auto V this time around on the Xbox Series X, which is the newest edition of the game that was just recently released. It runs at a silky smooth 60 frames per second, and I even enabled ray tracing. Okay, that was pretty funny. I think I mentioned it before where, you know, Phil on his podcast actually spent about 20 minutes trying to figure out which version was the proper version to download, which which a simple Google search would have actually told him what to do. But of course, he's too pig-headed and too bull-headed to actually do any research whatsoever, right? So then apparently he didn't figure it out. So instead of taking time after his stream to figure out what which which one to download, he didn't do that. He decided to go, uh, go hang out with the horse, uh, pig out, uh, probably sleep, uh, and then, you know, waddle his, his self back to his, uh, to his office and start streaming again. 
And of course, it took him nearly 45 minutes to actually download the game, something that he could have simply done uh, in between streams. No, he, he didn't bother doing it. He figured, what the hell, I'll do it when I get back and start streaming. So he bored everyone for 45 minutes, uh, just talking about which version uh, was the correct version he had to download. So that's Phil in a nutshell. That's his whole channel. That's his whole, uh, that's how he treats his life. And then you, 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 you know, you know that these are the reasons bad things happen to Phil. Just unpreparedness, always late, figures I'll take care of, I'll, I'll, I'll deal with the issue when, when it becomes a problem and not trying to resolve it early in advance to avoid something as stupid as not being able to download a game. You're an online streamer, Phil. That's what you do for your job. And of course, you're always unprepared. This game looks freaking gorgeous on the console. Like, no exaggeration, I was blown away. I was like, wow, everything has detail. The world seems vibrant and real. Um, Pretty darn sweet. And we played about two hours tonight. I'm getting myself re-immersed in Los Santos, have not you know, really experienced this universe in a while. And now getting back into it, keep in mind, this is only my my second true playthrough of the game. I did attempt to try to play it a second time in 2014, but people were like, ah, it's too close to the original playthrough. We don't want to see it again. But now it's been 10 freaking years. And this version of the game is so different, looking so completely different from the original. And on top of that now, you know, face cam, complete interaction with the streaming audience. It's a different playthrough altogether this time around. So I had a lot of fun, some hilarious moments. People already want me to make a YouTube short of a certain thing that happened tonight. I'll see if I can make that happen because uh, it was pretty darn funny. And uh, it was a great start. Now, overall, help. Okay, now you may be curious and saying to yourself, what was the funny moment that Phil found so hilarious? What was the funny moment that his dents felt like, oh, this is, this is great. This is great content. You ask yourself exactly what was it that Phil did that was so funny. And he's actually going to be making a short about it. Let's see exactly that moment. You guys ready? Overall, hell, he's black. Uh, today, support wasn't bad at all. That's right, folks. If you guys didn't catch any of the gameplay or my video, Phil, there was a scene in the game where uh, uh, one of the protagonist in the game was trying to sneak in and he had to sneak into a house without getting caught and then there was a couple in there that saw him and the gentleman hit back and said oh he's black right very quietly like he was scared he went you know he, he crouched back and then of course shout phil decided to shout that he decided to shout he's black akin to his playthrough where he walked through and saw a black woman and decided to scream oh shit a black woman and then he proceeded to continue saying some uh, racial racial racially racial stereotypes about the woman uh so i just find it hilarious that phil decides to drop the mask you know and expose himself for who he is during a gta nostalgic playthrough i guess he felt like you know this wouldn't be a true nostalgic playthrough unless without one or two hateful slurs and he was not going to disappoint. So let's keep going. Uh, actually, when you look at uh, tonight's uh, premiere of GTA 5, we actually had more viewers on that stream than any stream I've done in like a month. I'm serious. We had over 500 viewers at one point. And, uh, you know, actual support was pretty good. We had a ton of super chats. Um, so, you know, no complaints. Didn't get many memberships today, but did get a lot of super chats and an okay amount of tips. So, good stuff. You know, no complaints here. Good start to the playthrough. All right. Now, quick reminder tomorrow is Sunday, and Sunday is now the day of the week that we're doing my react. Okay. By the way, he ended up getting, I think, 40 bucks in tips. So, you know, and of course, he was begging super hard for the tips like he's been recently. The tips have been dropping. Uh, super chats have increased. Memberships are still dead. Um, because of course the whales that used to drop the big support for, uh, for those memberships aren't around Emil, those folks. Uh, so that's going to drive. I think he's scheduled to drop like another 50 members, uh, this week. Uh, so he'll cycle back under f close to 400 again. Uh, I wanted to really quickly show a clip from the side scrollers interview where they talked about, uh, the 
hateful slurs, especially the one in reference to the slave trade, right? So let's watch a video from the Saj Brothers podcast. It, it just, it doesn't, it doesn't fit. You know, that, that's, no, that's a I really- agree with you. I agree, I actually agree with you today. I should not have made that joke. I know that. That today you're 100% correct. 15 years ago, even 10 years ago, it was a different climate on YouTube and people were looking for that. That's who I was. And now I'm So that, not. this was last year, you said? That was yeah. probably summer of last year. Yeah. So because it, it just feels like a, a big leap from going from a sheriff who is like trying to kill people to seeing a little black girl and thinking a slave trade. You oh, I mean? no, now you said it. Now you said it. See you what? Said you said black girl. It was that, on, on that's screen. That's correct. That's correct. And herein lies the problem. What? I didn't think that. In my it doesn't mind, matter. It doesn't you're matter. Right. You're right. You're right. I agree with you. But in my mind, I didn't even see that. I didn't think that. That's, okay. you know, the joke was, this is a scumbag sheriff. He's literally lying to everyone. If he's going to traffic someone for profit, I wouldn't be shocked. It wasn't, she's a black girl going to the slave trade. And that's, that's stupid of me. Why the hell did I not make that connection in my head? Because I'm stupid. Okay. You know, I admit that. I'm dumb. I, I don't know I, if I, I believe that. You don't have to. That's fine. Okay. You don't have to believe me. I, you know, I can't make you believe me. I didn't think of it at, at one moment. Did I ever think, oh, she's a black girl, make a slavery joke? Absolutely not. It was about child trafficking, essentially, and that this guy would have probably done that because he's such a piece of garbage. <clears throat> okay, so back in March, Phil was right here saying he doesn't see a race whatsoever, right? That's not Phil's thing. Phil does not look at race whatsoever, right? Phil doesn't look, Phil doesn't look at race. And we're supposed to believe him, right? Uh, yeah. Now, I'm not buying it, especially when we see clips like this. Help! He's black! Oh, uh, today? Now, I don't know. Was he referencing his shirt? Was he referencing his sneakers? No, none of that. He was referencing the person. So when Phil saw this, of course, he saw race. Just like he did with the slave trade. And just like he, he, he sees with his other slurs. So don't ever think that Phil uh, in his heart doesn't harbor these type of hateful slurs. Uh, I know that he has to, uh, uh, per, per, he has to put out a different a person. Like he has to mask it. He can't just come out and be himself. He knows that he has to tame what he feels and, 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 and what he really wants to say because he doesn't want to get he doesn't want to lose his youtube partnership uh but i'm pretty sure that in the burnout snort fort uh phil just lets these things go off non-stop i'm pretty positive i am pretty positive that's the case just because we've seen countless times over and over again phil's mask come off and him just be inappropriate you know say inappropriate stuff say racially insensitive stuff say uh just you know you you guys know the litany so yeah that's really it other than that he talked about support and uh he went into his whole uh what's going to happen on his dsp react show and no one really cares about that so anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget don't forget now overall hell he's black that's right never forget he's black